Now let's start the run. Hey, Elliptic, thanks for good luck. All right, rupees, be nice. Good rupees. Very solid. My god, the camera is terrible. There is, Butter, yeah. In that one, you actually take damage. They allow you to jump into it, and there's a red rupee in there, and you take damage if you stay in there for, for more than a couple seconds. I think it's just lava. <laughs> hey, what's up, Flo? It would, uh, if I let my hair down while I was speed running, it would, like, very much annoy me, get in my face and stuff. Well, maybe headphones could keep it back. With the wedding coming up in a month, though, I've been, like, putting a lot of thought into what I'm going to do with my hair. Because if I'm going to have long hair, I have a responsibility to do something interesting with it. I can't just let it sit there. What's up, Jane Boy?
All right, I need, I need an explanation of the nice hat meme. I need to know. Or is it too exclusive? a compliment. Just complimenting me on the hat I don't have. Okay. Only hats I own are beanies. I am a beanie guy in the winter. Propeller hats. Okay, uh, so back when uh, Michelle was doing a lot of Odyssey streams, and I was a little bit into Odyssey too, we were always looking for Odyssey people to raid. And there was this one guy, I honestly forget his name, and I'm mad about it, but I showed up to his stream, I raided him. Or, Michelle, was it you who raided him? I don't remember. One of the two, but... Uh, he had one of those propeller hats. It was like made of triangles of different color and it had a propeller on the top. And his whole thing was every time any anything exciting happened, he was just like smacking the propeller to get it going. It was the most adorable and hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. That was like his whole thing. He just loved to spin his propeller anytime anything exciting happened. Odyssey, it, that's not a Kappa Moose. Odyssey is very much a Zoomer game. It was like, t to the point where half the reason that Michelle and I didn't really want to play Odyssey anymore is just the chats were unbearable, dude. Like, you could just tell every single person in those chats was 13 years old. It was tough. Hey, Lulum. Thanks. I wish I remembered the propeller guy's name.
I agree, memes are the best. Especially because the weep memes are getting, they're getting some variation. We got a weep bongo cat. We got weep a s. We got the original weeping weep. We got angry weep. We got pride weep. We got golden weep. There's a lot of weeps going on. How many weeps are there total? One, two, three, four, five. Get back here. Oh my god, all these rupees escaped. Well, how can I forget Mui Pog? That's the best one. a lot of weeps, dude. When I play Mario Kart for Double Dash, I always choose um, Koopa and Paratroopa because uh, on every single mini turbo, the characters make a sound, and those two have the least annoying sounds. Oh, I forgot about We Pride because it's not a sub emote. That's where I. That's why it's in the. Wait, where is it? Is it a sub emote? Why don't I see it anywhere? It's not in my FFZ thing. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, sure, 70 minus 1. Post him. I'm curious how I remember his name. I don't think that was him. Hold on. Yeah. What? Yeah, do you remember it? Noble Squashy. Noble Squashy, there we go. Thank you. I definitely recognize that name. Michelle to the rescue.
This was a pretty solid split. I think the worst parts were missing the text skip before Clock Town on the Deku Flower. And then also... Oh, spinning accidentally after the uh, Scarecrow conversation. Wait, I just realized. Just there, the seconds on the Doomsday Clock read 46. But when I was frame advancing earlier, some other time, I noticed that each minute starts with 45 seconds. Is it different between, uh, between inverted and uninverted time? Hey, what's up, Felix? Welcome, welcome. The OT puzzle stuff was fun. It was a good thing to do. It was Adef's idea. It was really smart of him. Catching me on MM though. This is my uh, this is my focus for the next little while. Since I just uh, I just finished my Ocarina of Time grind on any percent about a week ago. Pretty decent, strong, decently strong split. Only like three and a half seconds off my goal. Stupid songs. Yo, Skyward, thanks very much for the raid. Hope your stream was good. Welcome everybody from the raid. I'm Danny B. I am uh, playing some MM Glitchless. Hey Luna, thanks for good luck. And yeah, Helix, the, um, the input display. I always liked having that on the layout because it helps people learn. If you can like slow down the video and see exactly what inputs are getting pressed. Helps a lot. What's up, Mizero? Thanks. Is that a Korok playing Beat Saber? That's an amazing emote. That's so good. You guys have arrived at a good time. 
first cycle is almost over. Well, first cycle is over, but the cutscenes are almost over. This run has a lot of cutscenes right at the very start, and then it, then it kicks into gear. What's up, Axie Gamer? Thanks for good luck. First cycle doesn't really bother me, Flo. There's enough going on that keeps me interested. I mean, I just grinded OT 80% for like a month straight, so I'm clearly crazy enough to be able to handle anything. Hey, Skyward, thanks for the raid, and thanks for good luck. How was your stream? Commentated M.M. Rando, that's cool. I would be horrendous at M.M. Rando. I know literally nothing about M.M. speedrunning. I just, the only things I know are the things that are directly relevant to this speedrun and nothing else. <laughs> and whatever else carries over from OOT, but like, I don't know where any like treasure chests that aren't in this route, I don't know where anything is. True. That's pretty much that's pretty much my claim to fame is that I have good movement and that helps me get good times even when I'm not amazing at other things. Like uh, back in 2016, there was a beginner bingo tournament that was being hosted for Ocarina of Time. I had never done bingo before, but I had been playing OOT for about two years at that point. But I was o I had only done glitchless. That was it. So I, uh, it was pretty reasonable for me to enter the beginner bingo tournament, especially because I just didn't really know any glitches, and I ended up winning the whole tournament, even though I had never done a bingo before, just because I had good movement. Hey, Keaton Mask, thanks for good luck. Would I run Glitchless Hundo? Nah. Glitchless Hundo is not really my thing. There's too many boring parts that I don't want to have to speedrun. Oops. Wow, that is four runs in a row where I haven't gotten a bomb. That's very unlikely. I think each patch is like 12 or 13 bushes too. Let's see, what are the chances? What are the chances of that? So it's a 1 16th chance to get a bomb drop, right? So the chance to not get a bomb drop is 15 out of 16. Right, and then... We raise that to the power of 48. Whoops, I accidentally clicked squared. 15 out of 16. The power of 48. Okay. Four and a half percent. Not quite as low as I expected. So, reasonable. Reasonable chance. Yeah, that's. I really like glitchless any percent categories because you get to just like power through all the interesting shit. That's part of the main quest. And I really like 100% categories because speedrunning everything is cool. But glitchless 100%, there's too much There's too much stuff that isn't that interesting to speedrun that you have to slog through. Same for OOT also. Max percent first cycle, that's really cool, like, as a theoretical thing to try to route. 
I really love the idea of max and low percent speedruns. Um, just generally don't like to run them because they're usually garbage <laughs> to actually run. Okay, cutscenes are over. What's up, Perry? Thanks for good luck. Yeah, low percent in OOT at this point is just any percent. Sword, shield, deck of nuts, that's it, three items. There might be a cool way to do SRM with only two items, but it would have to not be in Kokiri Forest. Yeah, that's a good example, Bungus. Like, the Gwei thing, it's it's funny, and it's cool that, you know, there's a strat to make it reasonable to actually accomplish, but it's, it's not fun to do. Like, I'm 100% sure that ZFG was not actually ever having fun while he was Gwei hovering, you know? And, you know, if he was having fun, then power to him. That's amazing. I'm glad he found something he enjoyed but I would bet money on the fact that he didn't actually enjoy Gwei hovering. And it was just part of the run. Low percent is five items. Let me see if I can guess. Deku Mask, Ocarina, Song of Healing. Oh shit, I didn't. I always do this. Deku Mask, Ocarina, Song of Healing. Uh, Bomb Shoes? And what else? Maybe a bottle? I don't know. Ah! Dude, can I move? Oh my god! I was holding up on the control stick the whole time. It's not just bombs and bomb bag, is it, for the other two? <laughs> bombs and bomb bag, really? That's funny. What's up, Gravel? Thanks for good luck. Oh, Magic and Song of Time. Okay. Oh, I forgot that you get those in first cycle. Okay. I'm silly. Oh, god damn it. Oh, my God. 
Uh -huh. How's that for some ASMR? He doesn't make those sounds in OOT, right? He doesn't, which is amazing, because when you think about it, what does that mean? It means that at some point, during the development of this game, they were like, alright, so we're gonna add the Magic Bean guy, but he's missing something. And that was their answer. That sound was their answer. I love it. His tattoo does mean bean, yes. It's bean and Hylian. The man is dedicated. What's up, Evo? Thanks for good luck. It's amazing how much stuff there is in this game that is just, it's just YOLO. You just walk up and do the trick and that's it. No setup to help you, you just have to know what works and what doesn't by the way it feels. So different from OOT in that regard. Yo, Nate, thanks so much for the nine month sub. Appreciate that. Dang, missed it. 
Why are they different like that? No, it's not because the communities are different. Uh, it's just because of what normalization uh, actions are available to you at any given time. OOT has movement that is basically perfectly repeatable always, and MM just does not have that. Side hops go varying distances depending on the analog stick. ESS is much harder. There's no side rolls. So you just have much fewer options for doing things in a repeatable way. Yeah, so in MM, Moose, uh, backflips and side hops aren't like a scripted thing like they are in OOT. They are, um... They're just like, once you get off the ground, you get an initial vector. And then you're just in the air. Like, free form. Right, so it's it's they're more like logical in this game, where you just get an initial momentum and then you're just in the air. It's not like a separate state. So you can control them with the analog stick. You know, in OOT, that you know, they they probably thought, oh, this is so much better in MM when they were making it, when they made that change, because they're like, okay, this makes so much more sense than the way we were doing it in OOT. But I mean, it really harms consistent movement. But it does make more sense, and it's probably more fun from a casual perspective like that. To have that more like free movement sort of feel. Yeah, JP has PCS, but it has a zero damage default as opposed to one. Yeah, the MM folks use PCS to mean um, pirate cutscene skip. Which is the thing you do to skip the cyclone eating the pirates on the way to Great Bay Temple. Because 
because they didn't have enough power to handle the pause menu and keep rendering things in the background. Rendering an image is much simpler than rendering, like, the real game. Hey, Dia. How's it going, dude? Got my one bomb that I need. All is well in the world. That was awkward. Why the fuck is the pause menu called Kaleidoscope? What's up, Vine Cleaver? <laughs> Thank you, dude. I'll come back with the hookshot flow, so it'll be much faster to get to the boss. Opacity plus and minus, you change the opacity of the Mweep on my webcam. Yeah, they did a good job making the areas feel interconnected in this game. Hey, Clyde, thanks for good luck and thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Were you doing uh, Defeat Ganon? Hey, Havel, thanks for good luck. Go for eight here? I don't know. Mm, it's a little. It probably would have worked, but it was a little sketchy. I'd rather just be safe.
Beat me by two seconds. Nice, dude. Congrats. Alright, this run's feeling a little strong, so what in the hell? Dude, for real? Oh my goodness. Uh, well, thank you to the anonymous gifter for <laughs> gifting 25 subs. Jesus Christ, that is, uh, kind of insane. Thank you to whoever you are, really. That's really cool of you. And, uh, congrats to all the new Weepers. That makes probably most of the people here Mweepers now. Oops. Get over there. You know, uh, oh, wow. Well, Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for gifting another sub to Elliptic. <laughs> Appreciate it. This is, uh,. This is mysterious. Currently, that, those gifts put me at a new sub PB, so thank you to everyone. Just made it. Uh, how many is that? 157. That's the most I've ever had. You know what it must be? It must be the tappy mode. Clearly, that's the deciding factor. Uh, Bunnyhood is not necessary or useful to a glitchless any percent run. It's pretty much only useful if you particularly need the Bunnyhood for something. It does make you walk faster, but for the most part, we have other options to move quickly, like Goron rolling. In fact, it's pretty interesting. I'm only going to be getting three masks, aside from the transformation ones. So we got Dekagoron Zora. Of course, you need those to beat the game. Um, turns out you only need three more. And those are the Gibdo mask, so you can get through uh, beneath the well. Uh, the Garo mask, so you can have the ghost vendor 
spawn the tree on top of the ledge in Ikana Canyon, so you can hookshot up there. And the captain's hat, so you can open the grave in Ikana uh, Graveyard. And that's it. Those are the only three masks I'm going to need. It's pretty crazy. Oh, I got them all. Oops. Yeah. yeah. Faster than any form of movement. Dude, you know what? Fuck Goron Missile. Just get the bunny hood. Speedrunners, so dumb. Is the bunny hood used for literally anything aside from... Wait, no, what is the bunny hood used for? I'm trying to remember. Is it used for anything? Is it necessary for something? Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But you don't need it for anything. Oh, postman, that's right. It lets you see the lets you see the thing. The timer, right? Right, fear stadium. I mean, that's every mask though. I was wondering if it had like a specific use. What masks in this game don't have a required use for anything? Stone mask? Aside from, aside from being traded away on the moon. Blast mask, true. Oh my god, dude, stop pinballing, stop pinballing. Okay, we're good, we're in. <laughs> Circus leader's mask, the scent mask. The scent mask, you need to get mushrooms to trade for something, right? Yeah, blue potion, okay. Is there any other way to get a blue potion? from a Deku scrub, okay. But at least it has a use. There's something unique that you can do with it. I feel like they did a pretty good job giving all the masks a use rather than just making them be a reward, you know? Yeah, some of them are just for a heart piece, like Couple's Mask. Uh, the All Night Mask is used to get a heart piece for the listening to Grandma's story, right? As a kid, I was always really upset that you couldn't use the giant's mask anywhere else. I thought maybe you should be able to use it in like any boss room. It would be cool if they made giant's mask versions of all the other boss fights, since you have to go back and beat them so many times anyway in a casual playthrough to like uh, change the overworld state. Yeah, 
You get the All Might Mask from the Trading Post. Maybe that's what you're thinking, Hevel. Surprised that worked. Thought I was too far, or I thought I was too early. What's up, XO? Dude, I love this guy's tooth. Look at that tooth that he's got. Yo, thanks, Gortho. Appreciate that. Just go somewhere else, actually. Whatever. We'll try. Can I make it? Nope. It's so hard to go all the way across the room and still make it. You can easily localize them by sound, though. Nope. Oh my god, I can't believe it worked. I literally can't believe it worked. Hardest something? I'm not sure what word that's supposed to be, Perry. Oh, dungeon! Sorry. Dungeon. Gotcha.
Uh, definitely Great Bay. Yeah, what Moose said. Great Bay is by far the hardest. I think it's not even... Second is nowhere close. I've been getting very close to being unlucky with those stalactites several times. <laughs> it's okay, Perry. I should have guessed that's what the word that's what word you meant. Speedrunning brain is not as smart as normal brain. Okay, that was a pretty solid snowhead. Um, I think I'm actually doing decently well compared to my PB. What am I, how am I doing? I'm, I'm 36 seconds ahead for real. Uh, I was comparing to average this whole time. Uh, should I compare to PB? I guess. Yeah, the goat quick kill takes a little practice. Once you know exactly where to stand, though, it's not too hard. That was the hardest part for me, is consistently standing in the correct spot. There's a- there's like a dark patch on the ground, um, that I always stand like, just to the left of, and not too far into the dark patch. So, like, the very beginning of the dark patch is on my right, and that's where I stop. Because the trick is, as has been explained to me recently, uh, Goat is not allowed to have a direct line of sight to you, but because he's so big, you can make that happen and still see a little bit of him around the wall to shoot but the wall is technically blocking his sight of you, and so that's why he stays still. So that's what you're looking for. Alright, I need Goron Race to be nice to me today, because we're ahead by a bunch. Yeah, the extra cool thing about Wizrobe is that if you time the punch right on the third one, you can skip the little cutscene where he like darts around the room over and over again. But I mistimed mine on the second fight. I got the first fight though. There's a lot of clever combat strats in this run. Uh, weird, I'm gonna- oh, okay, I didn't- I didn't lose it. Oh boy. 
Pick it up. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> Please. Dude. That was funny. Alright, Gorons. I would say do your worst, but I really don't want that. Wait, no, do your worst, but like in a literal sense. Like the worst you've ever raced. I just realized that do your worst and do your best is basically the same thing. Except do your best is encouraging and do your worst is like challenging. That's funny, I never noticed that before. English is weird. Oh my goodness. Ah! Almost bonked in the trees. Oh, somebody exploded. That's good for me. No bridge horse play, please. All right, no bridge horse play. It's quiet. Too, oh, there we go. I didn't even get to say too quiet, dude. Didn't even get to say it. I hear him. No! Huh? Huh? Did I win? I did. Holy shit. Jesus fucking Christ. That was a clutch sp spike at the end. It's so unfair that those fuckers can just, like, come up on you at 500 miles an hour right at, like, a moment before the finish line. It's <laughs> completely unfair. What's up, Michelle? What? Am I okay? Yeah. I, I was almost not okay. Not if you stay, like, right around here. I wouldn't go, like, to the park, but if you stay nearby, I think it's fine. What's the point? Like to climb a ledge? Tea leaves? Nah, he can't. Goron Link can only hop up the tiniest of ledges. Only if he can literally jump up there with his legs. But if he needs to use his arms, it doesn't work.
Hey, Vinxus, how's it going, dude? Oh, I usually roll a little further. Uh, kind of both, Black Nix. I mean, the cash wouldn't be a problem. We could get that elsewhere, but mostly the bottle. Because it's, well, I don't have a large wallet, right? So I'm really just getting 99 rupees, which would be pretty easy to get from wherever. It's just kind of like a bonus that we get the free 99. Because I am going to spend all, like, almost all 99 of those later on. I'm going to buy a powder keg for 50 and bomb chews for 40 later for a total of 90 rupees. What's up, Skullinger? Thanks for good luck. Oh, shit. I love the Bowser brooch she's got. I think it's such a good detail. Sorry, little dog. Weep be gone? What? What kind of blasphemy is this, huh? The reason I uninverted time of day there is that my next time of day stop that I need to pay attention to is at 10 p.m. The, um, what's it called? Oh, no, I'm going to get the thing again, aren't I? No, I got to jump this. I got to jump this before. 
Okay, thank goodness. Yesterday, or two days ago, I had I had just entered the air to jump that thing as that cutscene played, and when I got control back, opponent just gave up on the jump and crashed into the wall midair. It was really stupid. Um, yeah, the trading post opens at 10 p.m. And that's what I need to be ready for. That lag, though. Get outplayed by cutscene mechanics, yep. It's funny because as I noticed that nighttime was approaching, I was like, oh, it would be cool to like get a freeze frame of opponent midair. And then it fucked me up. <laughs> I was like trying to do it. I didn't know what would happen. This one, thanks is? Yeah. It's uh, a little awkward. It's not nearly as fun as the Weep cutscene. Blue's feeling eloquent tonight, man. Alright, so uh, I had been messing up the movement to get to Pinnacle Rock without the seahorse. So rather than doing dolphin dives on the surface, I'm just gonna stay under and follow the signs on the ground, which is noob strat, but it's only like two seconds slower from what I can tell. Shout outs to Enup, who drives a train at this part. I see the memes are evolving with time. I feel like he would really appreciate seeing that meme. Does he ever ha does he ever come online? Is he ever like around in Twitch chats, or is he just like cold turkey gone? It's like I know he doesn't stream anymore, but I feel like whenever I decide to stop streaming, I'm probably gonna still be around for a little while. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I want this and this. What sound is that supposed to be? That animal that's making tweeting, hooting sounds. Is it supposed to be a bird?
Wait, really? Wait, is this faster? eaten by that thing is faster. Do you like fall faster? It kind of feels like you do. He still chats in his Discord. Okay, that's cool. Good to hear. He isn't. He's not totally disappeared off the face of the earth. It's always sad when that happens. Like, I was definitely falling faster than I was swimming downward, but I don't know if the time that it took to actually get eaten briefly like outweighs it probably worth timing seems like it could be close no can you sell Zora eggs? I don't know I don't think so I feel like that'd be fucked up if you could I don't think you can. It is blue. It's nice to see people move on and be happy with the fact that they've accomplished a lot. of day is it right now? Oh, just before 10, dude, I'm amazing. Curiosity Shop literally just opened. So good. What's up, Chris? Thanks for good luck. Yo, thanks, dude. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Maybe he and I will do another one of those at some point. Oh, what do I want right now? I don't even know. Uh, that... Oh my god, I almost rolled over the top. Terrifying. Wait, you can sell them? Really? 
For 20 rupees? That's messed up, dude. I mean, does that just completely ruin your cycle? That's, that's fucked up, dude. You can sell a Zora egg for 20 rupees? Damn. That just makes that cycle completely unusable then. Yo, thanks for watching, Tea Leaves. Have a good night. Thanks for good luck. Oh my goodness, stop, stop. Whoa, okay. What's up, Natty? I'm doing pretty well, how about you? Oh, okay. Don't want to fuck around near the... The... Wind? Current! Yes. When wind is underwater, it's actually called a current, Danny B. Very good. Very good. Zora egg and hot water are the same price. Oh shit, does that mean if you warm up a Zora egg, it doubles in price? Because then you got hot water and a Zora egg all in the same jar. that I'm hearing are probably common loons. Okay. I, uh... I appreciate the specificity and confidence of that an answer. Wait, can I Goron Void in that tank and then end up back at the door? And is that fast? Yet, that's dumb. Okay, let's do this.
Okay, I, uh, I kind of want health. Stupid fairy, come on. Get out here. Because I recently learned that when you fight the pirate for the last Zora egg, you actually get kicked out of the fight if you're at one heart or less. And I was at one and a half there, so if I took like any damage, I think I would have been kicked out. It's really stupid. I'm glad you like it, Vinxus. It's brand new. I just added it this weekend. Stupid fish. Go away. What? Oh, I think there's hearts in those pots, actually. That's good to know. I forgot about that. I was trying to think of any hearts along the way, and I couldn't think of any. day transition doesn't mess me up. <laughs> Stop jumping! That was terrible. Yeah, I forget the story, Vinxus. I forget why they stole the eggs. Anyone remember? For the money. Rolling in riches. More trip to P Pinnacle Rock, and then we're on our way to the temple. I spent a lot of time collecting eggs in this run. No, I come on. What do you think I want, game? The door or the fish?
Yeah, I forget how they get into pirates, or how the other eggs get to Pinnacle Rock, also. Did the pirates put them there? So in total, that only took less than a third of my magic bar. So I don't need to stock up on magic before this part. That's good to know. That's true, yeah. I would have to use more if I get hit by the eel. Does it really take like six more minutes to get into the temple from here? It's just cutscenes. trigger is so tiny. Dude, he's not even jamming out. He's just got, like, excitement in his hands. Like, he's just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The egg's hatched. What's up, LOL Games? Welcome to the stream.
I think I'm gonna gold this by a decent amount, actually. I don't think it takes another two and a half minutes to get into the dungeon from here. Maybe one and a half, 145, I don't know. Okay, here we go. So I'm already ahead by a, a pretty solid amount here. Great Bay has the potential to very much change that. <laughs> so let's cross our fingers and it goes okay. Okay, we're ahead by a bunch. Close one, dude. Very close. Glad it worked. Would have been tragic if it didn't. Solid start so far. Favorite temple? Uh, Stone Tower, I think. Stone Tower is extremely clever. We want this and this and this. Stone Tower is probably my favorite dungeon in all of Zelda, actually. I think it's just a really, really good idea for a dungeon, and they executed it extremely well.
Oh my god, dude, I'm trying not to die. Give, leave me alone for a second. Bro. sketchy wart fight, but I don't think there exists a wart fight that isn't sketchy, so whatever. Yeah, the pots are RNG, which is really dumb. Please, game, leave me alone for two seconds. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly how I feel. Oh my god, that guy was doing flip. Ex what? Okay, that guy just did not exist for a moment there. It's kind of unfair. Yes, I do not do aliens. Oops, I'm doing the two bottle route, which is much easier, as far as I can tell. And supposedly only loses 15 seconds optimally to aliens, and aliens is really fucking hard, so there's no reason to do that route. The time of day management you need to do aliens well is just not beginner friendly. Yikes. Yeah, apparently that's the timing. I mean, I've I have done a few runs on both routes now, and when I switched this route, I was getting PBs right away because it must be of comparable speed because I was getting PBs right away and it was just obviously easier. I think Zunar did, did the timing. I haven't vetted the timing myself, but that is the number that's thrown around. Yeah, for sure. It's like completely not worth it to do that route when this one exists. I mean, this route is world record capable anyway, so like you could you could just take this route the whole way if you wanted to. It's certainly less stressful. Yes, exactly. And Curiosity Shop, most likely you're gonna be early, right? Like, it's really easy to be early. So as long as you just uninvert soon enough, it's you're golden. That's it. It's, like, extremely easy to do in-game time stuff on this route. The only other thing is that you have to be in Ikana Graveyard on night two. That's all. Dang it. What the fuck? Come on, dude. Why does this happen? It's bullshit. I 
hate that room so much, dude. If it goes wrong... Yeah, I do a kind of stuff right after Great Bay. That's exactly right. Okay, trying to bait that guy. That is exactly it, DF. Yep, you nailed it. Uh, sorry, not hookshot. No, not hookshot. Um, because you only have one bottle free at that point. Um, I guess you could do hookshot, but I think it might take too long. I don't know. Either way, I do. I, you do one pinnacle rock first. Yeah, you do one pinnacle rock first. Uh, that way, when you come back with two, you can clear pinnacle rock, and then you do. You, then you have two bottles for two trips each in Pirate's Fortress, right? Because if you did hookshot first, then you still need to do two trips Pirate Fortress after that. So it would be three trips. So yeah, one pinnacle rock, and then two bottles for each of two trips to uh, Pirate's Fortress and Pinnacle Rock once more. impressed with myself. Yikers, dude. Very, very bad split, but we're still ahead. Yeah, that's right. Um, basically what I do is I... I try to time it so it turns night when I'm in Termina Field before getting to the coast for the first time. If it turns night while you're in the field, then you will make it to... Um, the trading post, like, right around 10. Wait, Curiosity Shop? Curiosity Shop. I've been saying trading post, but that's the other one. What was that, Michelle? Michelle just like poked her head out around the corner to like look at me for a second and then slowly went back in lurking in the darkness over there. You stared at me and so then I was like... What? You stared at me and so I...
I did not see that. No, Kamex. I should check it out, though. If there's anything that can make Georg a little bit better. And I'm all for it. Uh, I want... But this and this. Oops. Interesting. I'll check it out. Thanks for letting me know it exists. What in the fuck was that? <laughs> Uh-oh. When is this open? Is it open at 10? I hope so. Okay. Uncomfortable cow sound in the history of the universe. I don't know why they decided to make the cow sound like a seductive woman. We'll never know. Magic? No? Okay. Guess we're slow rolling. Magic? Thank you. DF, would you ever run this again? Maybe try this new route? I feel like this route is just free PBs. What's up, speedrunner? But that means I have to speedrun again. That's true. It is difficult to speedrun without speedrunning. If you were to ever speedrun again, what do you think? What do you think would be first on your list? Has there anything? Is there anything that you can think of that, as soon as you think of it, you're like, oh, you know what? That sounds kind of fun. started to run a D&D &D campaign. That's awesome. You're running it mean like you're the DM?
That makes sense, DF. I'm wondering if maybe Breath of the Wild 2 will be a good candidate for people trying new stuff. Oh, Metroid Dread. True, very true. I'm sure that's looking real nice to the people who are into Metroid. the most scuffed fight in the universe. I forgot what to do. <laughs> but it's interesting. I'm o I'm used to getting one hit KO'd there, but because this is later now, you actually have five hearts so you can survive. It's been 11 years since a new Metroid game. Damn, dude. Metroid community must be just like frothing at the mouth for this one. Especially cool that it's like 2D style. When was the last 2D Metroid? Two thousand two, jeez, literally twenty years, huh? That's wild. All right, where am I getting health, though? I guess I can get help at the ferry near the owl. Oops. Assuming I survived that long? Do I need health is the question. Does anything give me health? I don't think so. I think if I don't get health from this fairy, I'm going into the well with like nothing. No, fuck you. It's really dumb. Thank you.
Oh, that makes sense, Kamex. Yeah. A lot of the glitch runs, they do the, the weird shot to skip the initial battle. Oh, sorry, I missed your message about your campaign, Sea Runner. You're the DM, it has a big music theme where fights and stuff... Music is played in the world. That sounds really cool. I've never... I've been in, like, six different uh, Dun uh, Dungeons & Dragons campaigns before, but I've never been a DM. And I really want to try it. Um, some of my IRL friends and I, we... Uh, we just started to plan one that I'm going to be the DM for. Uh, it's just going to be a one-shot, but it's a one-shot that starts at level 18, which is really cool because basically nobody ever gets to experience the highest level Dungeons & Dragons gameplay naturally. Like, it takes fucking years to get a campaign to that point, you know? So, like, we thought it'd be really cool to just do a one-shot at that level, let people build characters that are just literal gods, and see what happens. It's so funny to look at the spell book for Dungeons & Dragons at the highest level. You get just ridiculous spells, like, this spell just kills you, and <laughs> this spell sends you to the ninth ring of hell. Like, it's just, it's stupid. It's hilarious, though, and I'm really excited to try it. So I'm on 253 pace right now. I mean, not I'm not gonna get a 253, but that's what my best possible time says, which is very surprising because where did I lose like four, three, four minutes? I must have lost a lot of time towards the end. I'm surprised that I've gotten back into PB shape so fast. This is only like my third run back after a month of OT any percent, which is like the worst way to lose all your Zelda skills. Oh, get in there. It's not even a real corner. Yeah, this will be tonight's only run. I gotta get up for work in the morning. It's tough to do long streams on the weekdays.
Last run, I accidentally killed that guy too close to the wall, and the postal dropped out of bounds. It was very tragic. Hey, Faint. Thanks for good luck. Yeah, somehow this run's doing okay. I hit the owl in Akana, right? I think I did. We'll find out in a second, though. I sure did. That's good. Wait, I shouldn't be hitting the owl on Milk Road anymore, should I? I think there's no reason to do that anymore. That is a relic from the old route that I've been doing. Fucking brutal. What a bounce that was. Luckily it wasn't too big a loss, but still, <laughs> shit bounce that gave me. Oh no, come on. That was... that was not a real failure. Get out of here. It was almost a really good split. If that boss fight had gone well, I wouldn't be losing time here. Or maybe I'm not even losing time. I think it's just gonna be like a tie, almost. Yeah, lose a couple seconds. 
Not too bad. Could definitely gold that still. Alright, we made it to end game. We're still a minute 20 ahead. If I get a 255 on this run, I'd be super happy. 255 is looking pretty reasonable still. I could lose a minute and a half and still be on 255 pace. No matter what happens in this run, like even if I totally botch it, it's really nice to see the PB pace come back so fast. Since this is my only only my third run back. Thank you, I hope so. Alright, so what do I need to equip? Goron and Zora, I think. We have one more pit stop before Stone Tower, though. We gotta pick up... We gotta pick up the Elegy. I just had a very stupid, brief moment of like, what am I doing here? I don't have Ice Arrows. <laughs> or not Ice Arrows, uh, Light Arrows. Bonking allowed. Pretty solid castle. These guys' swords are really weird. They look like hammerhead sharks or something.
Is that like a real weapon? A sham shear. Okay, I'm looking that up right now. Hmm. It doesn't look like it flays outwards on at the end. It just looks like a long curved sword. Their sword sort of like goes up straight and then it curves out into like an ice pick shape at the end almost. Yeah, it'd be cool if that was a real weapon. I wonder what, what it would be called. I think I think the sword that the pirates use in this game are cutlasses. Face on which statue, Sea Runner? This guy might do something weird to me. Oh, that was close. Oh, the face on the statue from the song. Yeah, they the faces look fucked up kind of on purpose. They're meant to look very creepy. See? Thank you. 
Oh, hello, boulder. Need the health. Going without it. Hopefully, I don't die. That would be tragic. sure where I lost 10 seconds there, but oh well. Hey face, thanks for good luck. Also my favorite dungeon. Oh. Play song a double time. To advance to night three, because I'm here too early. and Zora. Oh no, there's one other one behind me that I missed. It's bad. Oh, thank goodness. That light would not have lasted more than another half a second.
Usually I try to kill all three of those beginner, the bows at the beginning because they uh, stop interfering with the fight. But I missed one that time. See, I was using a bomb for a while, but I couldn't figure out a way to get the bomb to consistently hit the bows. Or And sometimes, every once in a while, I would hit a bow right as soon as I jumped off when I dropped a bomb on him, and it would damage boost me out of the air. It was very frustrating. Couldn't figure out how to be truly consistent at it. What's up, Mayo? Yeah, that strat is allowed um, because, like, nothing is really happening that's a glitch. The arrow freezes midair, and the block just kind of moves out of the way of the arrow. It's borderline, I guess, but I see why it's allowed. Good night, Seerunner. Thanks for watching. And good luck with D&D.
That was a little awkward at the end there. Luckily, luckily you have enough magic for one failure. First time I ever made it through that hallway without them hitting me. Not that it matters if they hit you, but it's just funny. Alright, I want fire arrows, bombs, and a hookshot, right? Good. cycle that's good I don't need anything I'm good to go well wow. it's the first time I like haven't need those, needed those pots at all all right dude let's go will the flying wormies agree with my PB or no twin mold is fine if you assume that you're decent at aiming uh, which I'm not <laughs> Too used to OOT aiming. Hopefully it goes well goes well though, we'll see. That's a lot of worm body that I cannot distinguish. What in the fuck? No idea what I was looking at for a good while there. Don't hit me. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on. This is crazy. They keep, like, intertwining with each other. <laughs> I'm glad one of them's gone. Ice arrows, Ocarina, Goron. This is like too close to really get him. Fuck. Dang, dude. He was so close to me, I like couldn't get an aim. thousand miles away. Nice. Good shot. Oh, shit, dude. That was beautiful. Three in one cycle is awesome for me. Very nice, dude. Very nice. Take that for sure. Still lost a bunch to gold, but we are now officially 255 pace. Nice shooting, Tex. Thank you. I got a long way to go with aiming, but uh, that was that was pretty okay. I mean, it's a terrible boss fight for these strats, but you're definitely not supposed to use these strats. You're supposed to use the Giant's Mask, of course. And... Arriving in a boss arena, seeing these giant snakes as a casual player that are like, I've literally never seen another enemy half as big as this in this game, so how am I supposed to fight it? 
and then you remember that you just got a mask that makes you huge, and then it's Child's Play. Come on, that's so cool. It's not the most amazing from a, from a mechanics point of view, but from, like, a... Like a lore point of view, I think it's a very cool fight. Yeah, no, they definitely come after you if you're running out and about in the sand. And they sometimes come after you on the platform too, but it's not super likely. You know what time it is, chat? 2.40 in the morning. All right, dude. All we got left is a feature-length film followed by a single boss fight for which I have a fairy. So there's not really a whole lot that can go wrong. I feel like I've got 255 in the bag. Also, my PB lost 51 seconds <laughs> here, apparently. As long as I don't lose 48 seconds, I'll be good to go. But it is Majora. The probably single most troll enemy in all of Zelda. I would love to see another enemy like Majora. It doesn't even have to be a final boss. Just something that completely overwhelms you with, like, ridiculousness and chaos and, like, just tons of different attacks that you're not expecting. Like, going up against Majora as a casual player for the first time is just a barrage for the senses. Like, there's so much shit happening, you know? That's true, Zant was a little like that. Zant was more like manic. Like, he was just crazy, and you could tell. But the constant, like, uh, jumping back and forth between environments for that battle, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Aren't the giants beautiful? You know what the giants remind me of? It makes me feel like the dev, one of the devs, had, like, a three-year-old daughter. And they were like, all right, little girl, draw us a monster. And the girl was like, okay, and she drew, like, a circle with giant legs and giant arms and two little dots for eyes and a big mustache. And they were like, perfect, that's what we're going to put in this game.
Wait, is it a mustache? Or is it like... A skirt? I just realized it goes all the way around. Or uh, maybe he just has a mustache on his butt also that I see poking out from back there. Time for Faceless Goron. If you haven't seen it before, pay close attention to Goron Link's face. Right here. Amazing, as always. It's not continuous, I see that, there's a little break. So he's got a front stash and a back stash. Good for him. I need light arrows. This and bombs. Alrighty. Let's see how it goes, dude. Do I have enough stuff? I have enough bombs and arrows? Yes, I do. That's good to know. Would have sucked if I didn't. Alright. Here we go, two minutes away. Let's have a clean fight. I don't want any trolling from either side. And go. Good phase one. One more minute. Wow, dude, that was so good. That was so good. Wow! 
Good finish, man. Oh, shit, is it a 254? I don't know. We'll have to time it. I don't know if it's a 254, dude. <laughs> 59.9 .9. not very often you see one of those that's exciting very nice ending man if I hadn't gotten trolled by the uh, by the laser ball on the third phase that would have been like as perfect a fight as I could have it thanks for the GG's everybody all right really good run for me man I'm uh, I'm really surprised that I got a run like this so soon after coming back um Let's see. You know what? I feel like I should time it on stream, maybe. Let's time it on stream. Let's see if it's a 254. I'm excited. We can stick around for like a minute and we'll figure it out. Um, let me take a screenshot of the splits so I have them. And uh, let me see what time or what, uh, what rank is this on the leaderboard? Let's check that out too. I'm curious. Where, I don't understand, oh, there's, oh my god, the new leaderboard is so weird and kind of bad. Any percent has three sub-tabs, unrestricted, no major glitches, and glitchless. So glitchless is like one of the first things you see under the any percent tab. That's bizarre. I don't know if I like that. All right, I did beat Bell. Nice, 17th place. I was one second off of Chopperman, 254.58. Oh my god. One second, that's funny. All right, uh, let's lock in the splits. 250, 44, some of best, very nice. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's cut the video. Goodbye, YouTube. See you next time.